welcome welcome everyone to my channel life with jennifer jm and i am your girl auntie jen yes my viewers and my subscribers could you believe it that eh? with the whole thing that transpired now in jamaica with the dpp and the government and the opposition and all of that i go on my bed and i sleep and dream about it i sleep and i dream about it and I said to myself, son, because when I listen to Mr. Delroy Chuck respond, my people, that it will be business as usual. And I said to myself, then if Mr. Chuck had the Minister of Justice in Jamaica and the court of the land rule, are you going to say it is business as usual? I don't think I can't tell him what to say, but I don't think that is the right message to send to the Jamaican people, Mr. Chuck. No. It would have been better if you have came out and said, okay, yes, um, the court has decided that it was unconstitutional, but we are of the view of a different opinion, and we will be seeking some redress. In the meantime, the government will be looking at other means in order for the justice system not to be interrupted so we will look at what is possible possible in the meantime but to just come out blunt and they say no it is just business as you as usual if i was the judge who made the decision i hear the statement from the justice minister i would have feel bad because me that looking at myself and I say, then after me, do, me, 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 me give the judgment according to the, the law of the land, the Minister of Justice is coming out now to say, them disagree. And yes, I can't decide who, who, who lose a case and they disagree. Not one soul lose. Everybody always win. But I say, but. So, you know, Mr. Dung and me, I think, but me and me going to listen when I say first. I me, me, me could not hear when the reporter from TVJ News was, was having an interview with him. And this is what he has to say. The government will be filing documents to appeal the ruling handed down by the Constitutional Court. We do not agree with that part of the ruling. Position is that we intend to appeal early next week. So the matter will remain until the Court of Appeal rules. The ruling means that Director of Public Prosecution Paula Llewellyn's appointment is null and void. When our news team visited the minister, the 58-page ruling was spread across his desk. He admitted to not fully reading the document as yet, but believes the government has a solid case. Minister Chuck rubbished the argument that the DPP received a second extension in her tenure. The DPP should have demitted office when she turned 60. However, she was granted an extension in 2020. That ended last year. The minister explained that when the government passed the amendment, it gave her the opportunity to work up to age 65. This is a new act to replace the existing provisions in the Constitution. It stands on its own. And in those circumstances, the DPP applied to continue to age 65 under this amended constitution and has nothing to do with any additional extension. Justice Minister Delroy Chuck says despite the ruling this morning, the amendment to the legislation was not rushed. The government would have passed the legislation last year using its majority in both the lower and upper house. The opposition on the other hand said it was not consulted. There's no doubt that we try to consult the opposition as much as possible. But there comes a point after you consult, you must make a decision. I think the opposition tries to milk as much political capital out of it, which I think is totally unnecessary. So you don't think this amendment was rushed in any way? It's a simple amendment. It's critical. Uh, it's a simple amendment raising the age from 60 to 65, which should have been done 10 years ago. And I, I don't think that was rushed. As it relates to what happens now, 
Well, the minister says it will be business as usual. But there are concerns about the impact the ruling could have on several high-profile cases currently before the court. We asked the minister, should the public be worried? No, not at all. As I say, the status quo remains. And until the um, Court of Appeal rules, I don't think we have to act differently. So up on hearing what Mr. Delroy Chuck has to say, my people, I am looking in it from another perspective. 49 of them, 49 of them is on the government side. We can name some of the old veteran them. You have Mike Henry, who is a veteran. I don't name a young one them like Ruda and all of them on there, because they're young. They're a liar to you, know, but I have to say, I mean, two of them and all of them are young ones. But let me say, I can't name as much as I can remember. Mike Henry. Delroy Chuck. Carl Samuda. Hundred oldness in a politics long time. From him young. Him, him, him know the politics. And he should have do better, you know. Because he know it, you know. I can like that. Uh, I would even mention his wife. Because I would mention Andrew's wife. I said, oh, again, in our parliament long. Up on his side. Mr. Edmund Bartlett. Mr. Edmund Bartlett, you were one of them. You, I tell the truth. You is the only one in the JLP that I used to admire over the years. You know what? I used to like your composure. You never look like the. You, you never, I never see you in a cascas in the parliament. If it happened, I never see it. I think what you see, you're celebrating your life with your wife for many years. That means you're a man of principle. You're a man of principle. And I want to, and you're, you're also a part of the government, the government business. You want to tell me that I'm 49 on the West Side. Call Darrell Valdi. I don't call him name nor Montague. I don't I don't call their name, even though they're in there a long time. I don't call their name to say, say anything good. Because you want to say not even one of them out of 49. Can't really, Mr. Edmund Bartlett, I call on you. You can't really take your party and tell them, say, it doesn't look good on some of the things that they might do against the, the law of the land. Breaking the law. When they should be up all in the land. No, 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 can't talk to each other. I said, so, well, it doesn't look good. Not even one. Then you want to tell me, say, we have 49 people on the government side leading the Jamaican. And not even one can say Iran. Not even one of them will come out and say Iran. Because sometimes when you look up on Twitter, we know we call X. Because that most of them use. Everything that got Babsy, all Babsy Granger up in the long time. Oh, no, 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 the rules of the land. That owner can say, no, we can't do it that way. This is the right way for me. You want to say, no, 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 come on, no, man. Come on. Don't tell me, say, no, no, you cannot. Eh? I said, don't me think about it, you know, my people. I mean, I never know how to take it from the depths of my thing. I say, no, man. How what could I go answer wrong? Because if we even want to draw back from the 80s with Mr. Edward Sierra, yes, him do some wrongs and all of that. But the truth is, and let us be reasonable, him not so bad, man. Him not so bad. It looks like I've got a call back for Bruce Golden. You know? It seems like I'm not going to call back for Mr. Bruce Golden for come and help out the, people, the, the, the Jamaica Labour Party. He was a saviour back then after Sierra, and he may be on a saviour again. Because, like him or not, like, like, like him or not, Bruce Golden was more of a disciplined type of person. Everybody at the area, you know, I know where some of them come from, but nobody with that. And that's not the reasoning. There. The reasoning is, he never broke no holy pa law. He never broke no law and all of that. He was more of a man of 
seen harder. That is my observation of Bruce Golden. Yes. I was a man who also wanted to see. So you see, so I'm not biased as well. Some of the things I'm not biased. I'm not biased. I'm not biased. Bruce never do them something. Bruce never do them something. I don't know much about the other rest of the of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, um, the GLP Prime Minister them. I me, me me hear about you, Sharon. I was a little girl at that time. I never understand. But like how I understand good, good about Edward Siaga, and I understand good about Bruce Golden. And now I understand good about Andrew Oldness. And when we put them together, me never see them, me never see them other two like this. And that's what my reasoning is. It never be like this, my people. So when I can't make me know. Leave on your views or on a comment on it. And make we make and make we have a dialogue. Not even one person in the can really say, What happened wrong? It bad so then, man. It, it bad so then. But the conversation continue, man. If you see that Mr. Minister of Justice come out and say it will be business as usual. It really send it really a, a, a deep thought in me, and we are watching what will take place on Monday if it will be business as usual. Remember to like, share, and to subscribe to the channel. Life with Jennifer J M and I'm your girl Auntie Jen, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.